So we need to draw a graph that has these properties. So here's my XY coordinate system. And the first thing to do is note the important X values such as negative 3 to negative 3 to 1. These intervals are for X. That's an X of 0, etc. So it looks like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 is needed. And as far as positive values, we've got it going out to 2. And then the y values mentioned are a 5 and a 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now start interpreting this information. Well, one that really stands out is that the function value is 5, or the y value is 5, for the whole interval from negative 3 to 1 negative 3 to negative 1. So it's at a value of 5 up here from negative 3 to negative 1. There's part of it. Also, this is saying it goes through 0, 0, the origin. So it probably goes down from here. So you have that part finished. It's decreasing or going down from when x is a negative 1 to when x is a 2. So from this to this region, it's going down. And we have that finished. And it's increasing from negative infinity to negative 3. So increasing would be going up, going up, going up. That takes care of this. And it's increasing from 2 to infinity. So from 2 over here to infinity, we need it going up and up and up. And that takes care of all of the properties.